Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you, ladies and gentlemen? Gentlemen, talking with you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Welcome, guys, and thank you for being connected on time. I'm sweating. Suchitoto is super hot. Hey. <laughs> All right. So Brandy is happy. I I can see your face. <laughs> okay. I hope you have finished the section two already, and I hope that you did it. Correctly, you didn't have any inconvenience by filling out the exercises. So we'll continue with the section three. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Pre advance. Here it is. I need a mouse because otherwise it's a little bit complex, complicated to to manage the computer without the mouse. So I really need it. Okay, so the section three, what is that section about, guys? Do you know? No idea? Uh, yeah. Request favors. Okay. So let's see the section three, okay? Could you do me a favor? We are using models, right? To ask when we are asking for favors. So we use model can, could, would, etc. Now let's see. Most likely we are going to watch the video because you probably have not watched the video yet. Okay. 3.0. Sure. Help me read ever. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, fine. Uh, I want to tell to tell you something uh, because um, in the in the past class um, I I was uh, looking uh, I, I was watching uh, uh, that uh, in all the class. Uh, we are feeling uh, the homework in the platform. Platform. Yes. And, and only that we are in class. Uh, feel the platform. Feel the platform. And I understand. And that the platform is a homework. And and we we don't use uh, the 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 manual. And and then uh, the manual have a, a very important the information. The Participant um, manuals is here. Look. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but uh -huh. but in class, uh, I think uh, we 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 can uh, to use the time for to uh, to understand uh, uh, another topic uh, in the platform. We can use an individual uh, field in our home, uh, and that uh, can be a um, um, homework individual. Uh, that's my my opinion. So you want you want to work on the manual. Remember, guys, we are we cover this because it's part of the class. I know uh, we sometimes give extra examples. We just practice because we are um, doing the 
the exercises, since it is important to know that the exercises are completed on time, and we actually need you to answer at least 80% accurate. Sometimes you don't know, and as you can see, some people are asking on the chat, hey, what's the answer in here, right? So that is why we do it here, all right? Because uh, I I want every everything to be clear. Obviously, if you want, if you have, um, if you need extra extra um, material, then you have the manual of the participant. There, there is uh, basically where you can practice more. Of course, uh, teacher, there is the... more. There is more um, information. Uh, more. Um, let's see. Let's open it. Maybe I, I opened this yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -mm -mm. So here it is. You can you can also use the um the dis discussion books, all right? If you want to practice, so you can do it here. Here we have the discussion box, so you can do it here. Okay, then you can see more examples here, or you can, well, my my homework that I always ask guys is you to learn verbs. Okay, so you have a lot of material, all right? So, but of course we, we can, I mean, if this is not the topic, uh, I, I don't think, see the point that we have, I mean, we talk about something else, right? But if you, if you, that's why I always ask if you have any question, if you want to have like something else to clarify, if you have an extra um, uh, topic that probably you don't understand, you, you probably would like to review. So I'm here, I'm here, but I have, I've just covered what is in the material because that is the, that is what we're studying, okay? But thank you for the um, suggestion, all right? Anyway, so you see there's more, more, more information. There are more exercises here. So you can work with this uh, at the same time, not only in the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other suggestions or recommendation? Uh, by the way, I ask you to read, but thank you for the info, for the suggestion. Help me read. Um, how do you feel today, Susana? Much better. Mm. Sorry, I'm sorry to to know to hear that you're you're still sick. Mm, let me see. Who wants to read this um, instruction, guys? Or the lesson objective, please. Me. Go ahead. Okay. Mm, by the end of the lesson, you will learn about different favors that people ask and express your opinion on favors that you dislike people asking asking you for. Okay. Uh, yeah. Remember uh, yesterday I also mentioned that it's important you to watch the video before. So the more you practice, the more the more you learn. All right. But in this case, can you help me read the instructions, Carla? Here. Uh, yes. Yes. Watch the video below and take note of all the what fav uh, favors that are asked which are the favors that will bother you the most and which will you bother you the least. Okay. So look, you can write the comments in the discussion box, right? But nobody does it. Nobody does it. You look, no one here, no one listen, no, no one plays anything here. And if this is a way for you to practice as well. But in the case that you are, mm, you're saying that we should do something else related to the class? Do it here. Sea usted el primerito entonces que ponga aquí en el discussion box para que le contesten los compañeros, okay? O yo le contesto también. Si no veo nada, no puedo hacer nada, right? Ustedes no quieren practicar y aquí está cómo podríamos practicar, no solo en el chat de WhatsApp. All right, so let's watch the video, guys.
Help me with the camera. Who's Luis, Luis Madrid? Is this the first time here? Rachel, I am so Me ayudan con las cámaras, please. Please, 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 please. I'm going. Yeah, unfortunately, it's only an hour per per uh, per day. I know. Yeah, but you know, it's only an hour, and many of you don't practice, don't participate. So glad you're home. Don't take I was advantage. If you could help me out, yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called, and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town too, and my little sister. Do you hear, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. And yes, teacher. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great. Uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry. We planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. Bye. What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey, you've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. Hey, kiddo. How's the homework coming? Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? You think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. 
Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? <laughs> I guess a good book can still bring people together. Well, when you're making requests, when you're asking for favors, there are some expressions that you use, as I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, what are those expressions that you heard when they were asking for favor or... Yeah. Would you mind if... Would you, instead of would you mind, what was the other? Instead of would, it's a very, very polite form to say it, but there is another would one. I want... Could you? Could you? Could you? Okay. Can or you? Can you? Can you? Can, mm, you? can, could, would. There is another way that normally. I wonder. May. Mm, may you? Uh -huh, good. But there, there is also another um, model that is the will, right? Will. Hey, will you please tone it down? Would you please? will or would yep and you can also say do you mind yep do you mind what happened with this expression when you say do you mind or would you mind yes it's a very very polite form to say it but this the expression after it, it's a it's an um it's a gerund in this case so do you mind would you mind uh not um uh, not waking me up too early would you mind uh turning down the tv 20 minutes ing right would you mind telling me your name girl yes yeah. so you see after mind this expression you use the ing that's it okay so let's see what's next so how to make the request with the model if all right um remember a gerund guys what is it when um ing it's a verb with the ing form yes if means like if um if this uh, the a condition correct yes so um let's watch the video guys And then you give me examples too, please. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request. Right, this is so, it's a little bit long, so. Let me just take a snipe here. So you see that we have like formal or less formal. Let's check it out. So you see, we say can, could. You can also say the expression like here. It says, hey, is it okay? You don't say it is okay, right? Because it's a question. So you say, is it? Is it okay if? Do you mind if? So we are asking. If you want to type is in the WhatsApp teacher. Okay. <laughs> If, 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 all right, then oh, you see, I, I wondered. Let me see that what's up. I don't know where I left my cell phone, guys. Sería maravilloso, sí. 
It was, I was wondering here. This is what you mean? Yeah, I think it sería maravilloso. No, in this sería case it's like, no, the expression me means, preguntaba. me pregunto si. Sí. Ajá, uh -huh. me pregunto oh, okay. si. Sí. Okay. I wonder uh -huh. is, I wonder if, hmm, I wonder if you could uh, lend me some money. Remember, guys, the difference between lend and borrow, right? Yes. Remember the difference? Wow. No. No, really. All right. So, for example, you see here, can I could borrow. If I say, can I borrow? I'm asking for money, for example. Can I borrow your pen? Or you say, can I lend, sorry, can you lend me your pen? The meaning is basically the same, right? But the structure is different. In this case, it's like, yo se lo pido, yo le pido que me lo preste. Uh, ¿Puedo pedírselo prestado? Aquí yo lo pido. Y aquí alguien me lo da, alguien me lo presta. Aquí borrow, yo lo hago, lend, alguien lo hace por mí. You got it, guys? Nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So that's the difference. Um, I will text it in the chat. Do you mind? Do you mind? Hmm. Do you mind? What is it? Do you mind? Aquí está. Yeah. Do you mind if? So you see all those expressions are used to talk or to make requests, right? Let's continue. You can watch the video at home because I know that it's too long and I don't want you to fall asleep. Okay. In the meantime, we are going to do the knowledge check here. Help me read um, Sullivan instructions, please. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. Complete the following request with models. If close, closes, closes, and closes and during. Okay. Remember, if I say, would you mind? Uh, I will show you again this image. All right. After you say mind. Mind, we use the ing, so that is why we use the, the gerund, as I mentioned before. All right, if the other, I wonder if, can you, could you, the other will, will you, hmm, hey, will, will you please, um, will you please help me with, um, uh, with the dishes? Will you please call me later? Will, you can also use will. Or we say would as, as well. Can, could, would. Yeah, basically those are the, the most common ones. So I was wondering if you would mind, what is this would, right? This is the, the um, contraction, okay? After mine, remember we use the, the form with the ing wave, right? The gerund. So to make the request, help me read, please. Uh, Tanya, help me the, with the other instructions, please. Sure, coach. Okay. Um, do not write the whole request, only the completion, completion. of it. Completion of, sure, completion of it. Make sure. Completion of it. Make sure you. Completion sure use the correct spelling and. The correct direction. spelling. Make sure you use the correct spelling, correct spelling and punctuation. Repeat it, please. A little bit faster. Make sure you use the correct spelling and punctuation. Correct. I said correct. Correct. Okay. 
Okay, so um, make sure to use the correct spelling. You want to use your roommate's uh, computer. So you say, is it okay? What? If I use your computer. Okay, if I use your computer. Punctuation, in this case, we should add the question mark, right? Let's mm, see. Not really. Not really? No. You already did it. <laughs> I only have one because I couldn't work today. But oh. it's without the question mark. It's but not necessary. The, yeah. But it's, on a real case, yes, we should add the should question be. mark. Of course, punctuation, right? Of I course. Do it if you want, but I didn't. It's okay, dear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, we are just uh, checking if the answer is correct or if the answers are correct. And yeah, the punctuation should be necessary. Of course, if it doesn't, uh, I mean, if it gives you a correct, correctly. Even the letter I is. Uh, it's in capital. Yeah, it's not capital letter. No, it's not even the second I. Okay, I. but remember, guys, I in the in in English we always have to 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 put it as um as capital letter. All right. I uh, have a question. Tell me, Carla. So in this case, if we have any or if we make any mistake on any of the sentences, um, does it affect or it doesn't matter if we change it at the end to the correct form? You we can you can do it. Uh, you can do it as many times as you want until you get the correct answers. And oh, but uh, it doesn't affect. I I believe it does in effect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Thank but you. yeah, try to send the answers correctly because sometimes we are like in a hurry and sometimes we just leave the answers like the way that that we just said, "Oh, okay, it's enough with 80%." No. Remember, we need 100. At, all right, 80 is the minimum, but of course, if we can have 100, much better, of course. Let's see, number two, help me, Jamie, Rosibel. Number two. I don't know. Oh, at least read, all right, read, and then we can, we can, oh. yeah, we can make it up in, in, with everybody here. You would like for your neighbor to give you a right to work. Would you mind? Will or would? Will. Aha, uh -huh. the L is, is mute, guys. Don't You don't say cool, ni will, all right? We just pronounce a D. Could, would, could or would, okay? Would you mind? Aha. Uh -huh. Give me a right tomorrow. Give me a ride. Hmm. What happens giving with me. the giving me Jonathan, good good job with the ing? All right. Would you mind giving me a ride to, to work? work. Mm -hmm. work. So we have it here. And of course, it's a question. So we should add the question mark as well. Sometimes, as you said, it's not necessary, but of course, if it's a question, we always uh, add it. Number three, help me, mm -mm, Amanda. Three, uh, you want a friend to help you move on Saturday. Could you? Um... Cool, again, cool. Cool, la radio cool. <laughs> cool. 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 The letter L is, is si it's silent. Silent, exactly. Oh, and something else, guys. You don't say you como yuca. All right. Remember, you say you, you. Yeah, ew. exactly. You, you, you. All right. You want a friend. You want a friend to help you. No, help you. Help, help you. No, help you. Help you. Help you. You pronounce like a letter I, like a Latin I, right? You want a friend, you want a friend to help you move on Saturday. Re read again for me, Amanda. Um, you want you want a friend to help you move on Saturday, could you? Help you. Help, help you. you move on Saturday. Could you? Help you. Mm -hmm. So what's help. the answer here? 
Could you help me? Could you help me? And then we just continue with this, right? Could you help me? To move. Mm -hmm. To move. You see that here it doesn't have a but. tool, right? Can you help me to move? It's okay. But normally it's not used, all right? It can be both ways. You can say, can you help me to move? But it's not too common. It's more common without two. Can you help me move? Okay. Those are some exceptions. Remember, I always say that be between two verbs, we always make a separation. For example, I like to help or I like helping. Remember, we can either use the gerund or we can use the, um, the verb, but the, with the infinitive, two. But, but in um, this case, it's not only, necessary with the help. Mm -hmm, with this but, if verb. You said, but if you said help, then it should, um, the verb move should be ending on ing, right? Or not? No, in this case, no. Help, help move. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, thought you, I thought it was help moving on Saturday. You're right, Carla, because that is the, 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 like the, the general rule. However, this is an exception. Mm -hmm. This is an exception. As I mentioned, you can say, help me to move or help you to move or just help you move. Either or. In this case, that's an exception. Okay? It's not necessary to put the ING, but you're right, Carla. In most of the cases, we normally use the ING when we have two verbs together. Right? Good. Sure. Yes, yes, uh, and the second and, and third, there is a mistake. Is the second one is give me, give, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> giving me a right. And also, yeah, here, yeah. right, can also, you help yeah. me? Can help you help me, help me move on Saturday? Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, mm -hmm. you're appreciate it. And number four, let's see who hasn't practiced, who hasn't participated today. Let me see. Uh, um, um, ambas marinas nunca me encienden la cámara, guys. No sé si de verdad están en la clase, no las conozco. A primera vez que enciende la cámara, Marina. Marina, help me with number four. Marina Stephanie. Good night. I was wondering. Yeah. Eh, espéreme, espéreme. Good night, okay. guys. Es para cuando yo ya me voy a dormir. Remember? Good evening. Thank you. Okay, go. Okay. I was wondering if you give given me a piece, a second piece of pie. I was wondering if you would mind. I was wondering if you would mind mm -hmm. giving me a second piece of pie. So how do you follow this verb? It's actually giving your aunt. One moment. Help me, Marina. Thank you. Ya, ya, le, ya le dijeron por ahí. What is, the, what is the correct form here? Give, give me. Give me. Confess. Exactly, giving me. All right, giving but, me. Remember, yeah. But it's, it's not talking about us. It says your aunt. Would you mind giving your aunt a second? I was wondering if you will mind. You would like to. You would like your aunt to give you. My oh, aunt oh, is going yeah. to give me the the piece. Yes. So I'm I sorry. asked my aunt. My aunt. Hey, hey, aunt. I was wondering if you would mind giving me a, a second piece of pie. Correct. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, guys. So just make sure in this case, if it's if you're talking about mind, this expression always show the um, uh, I mean always is followed by the ing. That's that's it. Just make sure that uh if you say let's see, Carla, if we can leave it like this, as you said. You see, there is a mistake because it's not. Yeah. It's it's not as I mentioned. It's the correct form is help me to move or help me move, either or. But in this case, that is an exception. Okay. Remember, there are always exceptions in English. I don't know why. I wish I know, but unfortunately, 
it's not like Spanish, right? That you know the rules from pe to pa, right? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the rules in Spanish are easier. Um, by the end of this class, help me read. Maybe, how do you feel? How, how, what about your toothache? Much better? Um, I have a, yes, I have a little... Um, Surgery? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, but I'm okay. I can talk. Because you, you have swollen. You have swollen. Inter inflamado, dice. Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um... I'm sorry if you if you're if you if you're fine you can read otherwise there's some there are plenty of students here who wants to help me. <laughs> Fact I am already participating. If you yeah. notice or not. <laughs> <laughs> there are many guys there are many and that is a little bit complex for me to see everyone's participation but I appreciate it maybe. Go continue please. At the end of this class you will develop a skill in listening for specific information. Listen to requests. Listen to telephone conversations. Good job. Develop skills. One more time, guys. Develop skills. Remember, don't use, we say like epsilon. El epsilon es cuando siempre pronunciamos una E al inicio de las S. So it's just develop skills. In este caso, we can make just a, like a little bridge, right? Or a link between two words. And we can pronounce it in a, in a faster way. And develop skills in, develop skills in, all right? For specific information. So here we just join the, the two sounds for specific information, all right? So everybody repeat. Develop skills in listening for specific information. Just that. Everybody? Develop skills. Develop skills, skills in listening, listening for specific information. information. Good job. Develop skills in listening for specific information. Good. So, can you do me a favor? Let me see, guys. If this is not too long. For tomorrow, I need you to please help me with some of the gerunds, okay? We have been talking about gerunds, so I would like you to please tell me some of the verbs that are used with the gerund, all right? So you say, don't mind is one of them, all right? For example, um, after like, after go, go jogging, go walking, go hiking, we use also, after go, we use as well uh, gerund. So please let me know tomorrow. Maybe you can search on the internet some of the verbs that are used with gerunds, okay? Yes. I will have my list, but I, I need you to find, you, 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 you to look for that information as well. Okay, do you agree? No van a preguntar, ¿cuál es, el ti, cuál es el, el, la tarea, teacher? Ajá. In Spanish, in Spanish, el listado de los verbos que, que usan gerundios. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? ¿Estamos claros? What's the homework? Y, and obviously, guys, remember to learn verbs. Siempre apréndanse los verbos. Verbos, 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 verbos. Porque eso es lo que nos da un poquito más de... Um, uh, more vocabulary and more confident when we're talking, right? Uh, besides, you can also learn phrasal verbs that are very, very common in, in English, spoken English especially. So try to learn verbs or phrasal verbs because that way you will be more fluent and yeah, and you will be more confident when you talk. the platform right okay let's see here hi everyone by the end of this class you will develop skills in listening for specific information after listening to the audio program you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding so let's get started you'll listen to three requests your task is to write down what each caller requests and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request 
Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. <laughs> my bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly, my bird. Oh yeah, I forgot your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy and they make a lot of noise and. No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you. I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. All right. So, what was the first request, guys? Uh, what was Tina's request? Uh, what did yes, Tina need? Could you like scroll down, teacher? But yeah. what's wrong asking for the camera, right? Yes, exactly. So Tina was asking for a camera. Why? Why does she need a camera? Yes, Susana. What happened to Susana? She's answered on the chat. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm trying to check the chat right now. Yeah, I see many, many chats at this time. Uh, Tina wants to take photos for her new apartment. Yeah, good job. You're paying attention. Great. Okay, good. Thanks. I was writing the whole sentence. That was the mistake. Giving me a second. Oh, yeah. Thank you for all the answers, guys. I giving me a ride. Good job, Sullivan. If I use your computer. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you for sending the answers on WhatsApp. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you for, miren, siempre que vean una preposition. Thank you for, after preposition, we use also gerunds. Thank you for sending them the pictures on WhatsApp. For, after preposition, use um, ING as well. I was writing the whole sentence, that was a mistake. A camera, picture for uh, her apartment, good. Thank you. What about the, so Tina wants to borrow, or podríamos decir, uh, Tina wants Robert to lend her. Look. Tina wants Rob to lend her a camera. Quiere que le preste, pero sí puede decir, quiere pedir prestado, borrow. Y si no, quiere que le preste, lend her. 
Got it? Nice. So, Tina wants to borrow from a rubber a camera, of course. Okay, and... Tell me number two. Help me read a uh, Randy. Uh, what does Kaylee What does Kaylee want to borrow from Maggie? Maggie. Mm -hmm. Maggie. If we if we do if we use land, how do you form the question, guys? Yes, Jamie. Thank you. What does Kyle wants? En este caso sería Maggie, ¿verdad? Maggie What wants, does Maggie I, wants to learn from Kylie? Yeah, from to learn Kylie. Kylie. All right, thank you. So, and then you see a bread maker. Why? Because he has a now. Uh, he wants to go for um, his girlfriend. Like a date, right? Uh -huh. Like a date. But the it's not crush. working, it's broken. It's broken, of course. <laughs> okay. Um, nice. The number three helped me read and Jenny. Two, three. Carla, tell me. Number three, what kind of favor does Phil want? Okay. And the answer to that one is Phil wants Lee Ling to take care of his bird while he's away. Yeah. Uh, was she was she happy? Was she happy to help him? No, she, she was No, right? Imagine. These these people don't really like um, any pet. What what do a, a a bird can make? Right? Ah, too much noise. Come on, mean uh, people. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be happy either. Really, you don't like it? No, not at all. Not any animals. <laughs> not any animal. Well, I have promised not to have any other animal anymore because I suffer too much when I. Yeah, that's the reason why. Yeah. <laughs> how, is your, how is your dog, by the way, teacher? Oh, you didn't know. Oh. You didn't hear? You mentioned. We sorry. Oh, hi, Brandy. Oh, I was sick. You was... Uh, sad. No. You were? You were sad. <laughs> he died. He died. He died? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry, teacher. What? I didn't... Yeah. I didn't was in the hospital she was yeah there. i know but unfortunately he died he died and yeah I, I couldn't afford it to continue paying in the private clinic you know so it was expensive but chivo chivo pay was kind of cheap either even though i had to pay for their um trans uh, prescription right i had to pay for the medicine so, but he, at the end, he died. Yeah, it I'm was sorry. it was hard. Oh, sorry, Peter. even though yeah, it's okay, it's okay. It's basically almost a week, right? Last week, it was it was a week. It didn't he didn't last that that much. He was very sick. He was with anemia, severe anemia. So, and he was very 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 small. It was just like a month and a half. Anyways, uh, I promise not to have any other pet because it, it's been, it's a little bit hard, you know. You love your, your animals, like yeah, yes. they're part of your family. Not everybody, but some of people, some people really love animals and I really surrender, I mean, give my, my myself to this little dog, you know, give my, I gave my heart to him and uh, I really loved him, even though I just spent with him just like three weeks only. And yeah, yeah, imagine the other people that have dogs or especially dogs because they last like a little bit longer for, for for like 14 years, if I'm not mistaken. Like that's like the expectation of life, right? And lost my pet. He was nine years old. So nine. Hard. 
It was a month ago. It was oh, terrible. sorry to hear that. And that, believe me, sometimes you say, no, I don't want to have any other pet anymore. But eventually, probably you will, you will like another, you will fall in love with another, with another pet, maybe. But I don't know, Sullivan, would you like to have another pet? Um, Another... Not yeah, for now. because I have a, a daughter. She is still missing so much. So Aww. it took over her empty space she had, she had in her heart. So yeah. it's difficult, I know, but I, I don't have to thought about just me. I have yeah. my definitely, my definitely. And yeah. I had to, to cover his heart. Yeah. Anyways, guys. So something something like that happened to me like 15 years ago and and i said no more pets yeah. now i have a son who's asking me as well about uh bringing a dog to my house mm -hmm. but i don't think i i would be able to handle two kids and one pet <laughs> so, i know i no. know they they demand a lot of care so yeah Unfortunately, um, that I I try my best, but anyways, I sometimes would like to be a, a a vet, you know. Actually, my daughter wants to be a vet, and I hope she she makes it. And yeah, she she really loves animals. So, thank you guys for being so like so good with the animals because I mean they're they're beings as as we are, right? And some people don't don't care about animals, but they are basically they're the same like us obviously but they just don't, don't don't talk right but they they have feelings they they love and they feel all right they feel pain they feel everything oh. yeah anyways guys let's continue and oh the the indirect request right the remember the indirect request or the indirect questions when we mentioned can you please could you please, would you mind if, let's see the indirect questions. Um, introduced by what? We just watched the video and... Hmm. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. We will focus note, on guys. turning Take statements into this. indirect requests. Now, let's discuss what indirect requests are. So, indirect requests means that you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there. Um, and you leave a message for that person. Well, this is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on the screen, we can see how this structure changes depending on the type of sentence. So if we have statements, imperatives, yes and no question. Well, this is what we call an indirect request. So let me present some structure. If you see the chart on. There you go. Okay. Those are the expressions where you use indirect requests. So you don't make the regular question, right? If you say, hey, can you, are you free on Friday? Can you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday? On Friday, the structure is completely different. It's like when you are doing like a statement, an affirmative statement, all right? When you are sure in something, not making the regular question. Look, uh, and the request, could you tell me? that can you tell me can you tell jeff that yeah. remember that is optional that is optional tony is having a party what is the regular question what's the regular question could you repeat what you said sure look and in this case you have the statement that says tony is having a party all right but if you want to make the question you can say, for example, hmm, is Tony uh, having a party? That's the regular question, right? What is the, what's the order? We already know. If it's a simple present with the verb to be, so we just switch the order, right? When we make regular questions. But in this case, 
With indirect requests or indirect questions, we don't use the regular structure. Look at this. Is Tony having a party? That will be the, the, the way that it should be, right? Is Tony having a party? We, we change the order, remember that? But in this case, when we have expressions like, can you tell me, could you please, uh, do you mind telling me, uh, I don't know, or do you know, etc. Uh, we don't use the regular questions. That's basically what we're talking about. Got it, guys? Or no? Yes. Yeah. In the request, when we have certain expressions, so we normally use the regular, um, like a regular affirmative sentence, right? Not a regular question. Got it? In here, don't be late. Can you tell Jeff not to be late? Not to be late. The, this is for infinitive, indirect request, indirect request here. Are you free? Direct question. Are you free? Can you ask Sophia if she's free? No, is is she free? No, sería she's free, right? Because you say, can you, could you, etc. Those expressions uh, change the structure for the regular question. Okay. Now, when does, demos el das, WH question, does, the subject, and the verb. Remember the structure for simple present, right? Now, for indirect question, you can ask, hey, can you please, could you please, would you please, do you mind, ask Jeff when the party starts. Miren, no ocupo el, la, la forma regular, okay? When the party starts. Normalmente preguntaríamos, when does the party start? But with these expressions, we don't use the regular questions, uh, the structure of the regular questions. Got it? That's okay. it, okay? Uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to ask something, and then you tell me what would be the in the question. Either can could all these st the statements that we just saw um here. Remember those expressions. You can use it, and then you you tell me you tell me the. The answers. You tell me that the indirect question, okay? Lend money, okay? What would be? I can say, can you lend me some money? How would you say and how would you form an indirect question here? Can you ask uh, teacher let me some money? Okay. Can you ask the teacher to lend me some money? Okay. Let's see another one. Can you help me with the homework? Could you? Uh huh. You can say, could you? Uh huh. Could you help me with the homework? Okay, but the indirect question, I was wondering, remember guys, ah. those are the expressions that could, we could that you, we were supposed could, to use these expressions, right? Okay. Could well? you ask um, Mavi if uh, she can... Oh, you can me? also say, I was wondering, I was wondering. if... If you, 
you can. ¿verdad? Miren If aquí es can me. you, ¿verdad? Can you, pregunta regular. You can, ya sería una pregunta, pero de forma indirecta, right? I was wondering if you can lend me some money. I was wondering if I can, if you can help me with the homework, okay? Nice guy. The class, la otra clase. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye.